Rest in peace, Gizmo. Rest in peace. And welcome back to Ark, where today, well, we're going to be building the base. And, well, you also may notice we're standing on top of something. Or someone. This is Crush. I brought Crush over. And I got a little explaining to do. So, technically, the Genesis Part 1 base has been completely destroyed. Because I had to take it apart to cryopod him without having every single last thing get destroyed on it. Now, you might be asking, how do I know this? Well, simply, because I tried to cryopod crush with everything on his back. And yeah, luckily, Alt-F4 does not save the game, and I can just load back in before that happened. So, yeah. So, I took it all apart. I got everything in here that I need. So, yeah. Hopefully, we should be able to throw him back together. I do want to try and get him back together the exact way I had him. So, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to have to start with the complicated part because Crush has a little bit of a weird thing going on here with his uh, placeability of certain objects. So, now, I got to make sure, say, boom. Now, I got to get my ramps out. Now, this is just a test to make sure. Yep, that should be... Yeah, that should be good. So, if I pick this up... Now, what we're going to do... You need... This is a little trick I've learned. It works with a basic, just normal arc items. No modded items. Um, I don't know if it works with the S+. Plus. I haven't tried it with the S+. Plus. I've got a feeling, though, with S+, plus it might be a little wonky. So, I do believe I want to pick up one more, right? And then, boom, and then we pick this one up. And now, the foundation has been lowered. And I actually want to do this one more time. Boom, and then pick up, right? Yep, perfect. That is exactly how I want it. Now, we'll pick you guys up. Now, hopefully, if I did this correctly, I did not do this correctly. I did, but, you see, Crush's shell, I'm a little too far in. I need to push that out just a tiny bit, so that way Crush's shell isn't clipping through stairs. Now, problem is, though, ooh, alright, we can still recover it. If you place things too far in to crush his shell, it will not be coming back. I'm just saying that. We will not recover some things. So, boom. Then we do this again. I just got to make sure I can get two. Uh, okay, so that was kind of like right on the line. So let's back it up. Just boom. Now, can I? Yep. Yeah. Now we're going to try and lower this. Okay, I'm going to do exactly what I just did. Okay, so there we go. I finally got that back the way I liked it, where we had the ramp down in and out of the water. So if I can now... Unfortunately, we do got some clipping here, but I can't fix that. It's legit, like, a piece of his shell is clipping right here. It's weird. But luckily, we will have railing there that would push us away from that. So, as long as we are able to use the stairs. I mean, I've sat here. I've, this is like the fourth time I've put it down. Like, this is as good as we're going to get. I think if I were to angle it out a tiny bit more that way, it might work more. But I'm tired of trying. Are you serious? Yep, we're going to have to do it again. Okay, now we, I'm pretty sure we got it this time. Why can't you ever just let me do railings ever again? Like, it lets me do railings there. Like, it's just that one. Like, if I keep, like, it, where'd all the veggies go? Oh, oh, yeah, no, I forgot. Um, The plant growth on their back is based off of how many of this that they have produced in their inventory. And seeing how I just transferred him over, the, like, timer on him to, like, register, like, hey... How much plant growth do you have on your back? It's just finally ticked. 
So now he's getting a nice clean back. Um, but yeah. I think what we'll do is we're just gonna not worry about the railings. I, I don't see those as that important. I mean, this is just for us, like, when we're in the water to get back up in. And that's just in case I never have a tech suit on me. But on this map, I quite literally spawn with a tech suit that functions and works fully. So, it seems kind of pointless, honestly, having stairs. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to this side, where, if you guys recall, I had a nice little hut built up. Now, there's something here I will have to do, no doubtably, to get these three foundations on the back. And that would be this nice little thing called snapping the foundation to the ceiling. Now, I need to pick up the thatch ceiling. Boom. And there you guys see the foundation is there. Now, this is a trick that you can use on every single platform saddle, including boats. All right. This was the trick on how to make big boats back in the day. All right. Like, you'd put down a bunch of these, like, the foundations this way. And then you could build your boat however you wanted. And this was before they had the slider and all that to adjust the... Like the range of the boat, and like how they act then before they actually limited how many you can go out on foundations. So, but yeah, that's just an old trick. Now, boom, got that there, and we'll hit switch you to stairs. Now, this one, what did I do? Oh, I hit X. I was like, what did I just do? I'll put down those now. I think. In terms of what else I need, we need to grab the walls. Here, let's grab all, let's just grab all this stuff. Okay. Uh, pillars. Douche, 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 douche. We'll just leave the kibble in there. Okay, so I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore at all. So we will grab those. Here, I'll throw the generator on the hotbar along with the fridge. And the pillars, and yeah, sneak the bed in. Okay, yeah, let's just do that for now. So, we're gonna run around here. We're gonna place down the walls, like so. I'm just gonna title this Rebuilding Crush Base. I mean, that's quite literally all we're doing. is We're just trying to reassemble Crush Base the way I remember. <laughs> That's kind of almost in the exact spot I had it. Um, in terms of the breeding area, I think I'm going to just throw it up over in here. And in terms of the bubble shield, I didn't get it, did I? Did I leave it on his back? I have to go to extinction at some point now. Yep, that's my bet. Sorry about yelling into the mic that way as well. And if you guys would like to know, which either way you're going to get to know... I have ordered a new mic, so a new one should be on the way. When it gets here, I'll let you guys know what kind it is, because off right now, the top of my head right now, I can't remember. But you know what? Actually, I'll just let you know now, because I have the smart idea of just pulling out my phone and quickly pulling it up and looking up the name, seeing how I can do that. All right? It's nice and simple. So, uh, it is loading. It's the HyperX Quadcast. S, all right. HyperX Quadcast S. This is one that one of my good friends recommended to me, and his audio, like undoubtedly, on onga onga, it sounds flawless. All right, it is perfect every time. His mic picks up everything he says, like it doesn't miss a beat, and it never has weird audio sounds like mine does. Like every now and again, I'll hear a digital effect in mine. And I'm pretty sure that's just because me yelling into the mic so loudly at some sometimes it's it's starting to kill it. Like it's it's causing damage to the mic. Like me yelling at it. So I mean I could imagine, yes, that is actually absolutely what is happening. I have damaged my mic by yelling at it. But you never know. It could also be something else. How's that doing? That's good. Now, uh where's the windows? 
and we'll get you guys hot barred and yeah so let's just try and get this done and built so that way i can say i have a house now on genesis part two unfortunately though it's not anything unique to this map i guess you know what crush you are the house that's unique to genesis all right you're my genesis house you're the one that i've took i've done on both maps now all right you're just the best base to me all right you you're just so helpful it's legit because he is a legit walking bubble shield but unfortunately i got i gotta go get the bubble shield again so that way we can go back to doing that but like that's what i think that's just why i liked it so much is that he was a bubble shield i am also now just realizing that i've gotten the bed that i've also forgotten the feeding trough like i would just put hot barred the bed and there's no feeding trough like and I, I just realized i hit my pause button here trying to hit escape i'm also pretty sure yeah it's only kibble left in here so before i forget completely uh hold up. let's get all the stuff that needs powered because he has no lights on his back anymore i forgot the lights too Jeez. so what we're gonna do here is boom all right you'll be just there and that's just gonna kind of divide yeah i don't like it there i don't not like it there i'm sorry i can't i can't do it there there's something about it there it doesn't feel right right there feels better because i got the cryo fridge right here and this has all my dinos in it so boom i I honestly, I remember last episode, I said, hey, yeah, I took all the Genesis creatures over to Extinction. Um, when I went to go look in the, like, actual terminal today, the Genesis creatures were back in there. Once I loaded into Genesis Part 1, for some reason, the Genesis creatures, all these guys, loaded back in. So I just brought them along. <laughs> Alright, like, I figured they wouldn't hurt anything, and, uh... I do need to go back to Extinction, so I guess I'll go check, and if Extinction has theirs, I will toss the ones on Extinction away, and, like, say, like, alright, this is the official set, because I don't, because, like, I'd say one, this one here, yeah, this one is accidentally generated, 100%, if not, maybe Extinction bugged out, and I didn't transfer it over to Extinction, I don't know, maybe I lost my mind and completely dreamt that for some reason I did that last night, and it never happened, you never know. I mean, it's just one of the things I gotta go check. Like, for all I know, that like that could just all have been a figment of my imagination. Just getting all that done, like transferring everything over. But you know what? I like I like how this is now a nice, neat little corner. Like instead of it being like spread out across this entire back, it's this nice, nice, neat little corner back here. Um, I think I might just throw the feeding drop, like say, back in here, and then we have this entire side of the shell open up this turtle is definitely definitely not evenly balanced <laughs> i'm noticing something the house last time it was pretty damn even and went straight now this time it's on an angle <laughs> i put the house on an angle oh i mean it you know what, I think... Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. OCD's killing me, but yeah, I can't tear it up and redo it. Oh, that's actually just... Just perfect that that is what has happened. But yeah. Uh, I'm not feeling like going over to Extinction just yet. I do want to go do one more thing before I do that today on Genesis Part 1. Or not Part 2. Or yeah, this map on the ring and well it seems like one of the only places we can kind of keep shell or crush not shell that's his son uh crush is right here kind of in this watery area and unfortunately because i have gone back and looking at this shell was perfect for genesis part one all right but him as a base on genesis part two yeah it's fine with me but, like, looking back on part one, the reason why he was so, so good is because I could use HLNA here to teleport him completely across the entire map. Different corners of the swamp biome. It's just, like, that's how I was able to move around with him so fast. 
But now, like, in hindsight, me, like, as of the last five minutes looking at it here on Genesis Part 2, I mean, I'm good with him as my base. I like Crush. He's a really nice base, all right? But now I have utterly taken away what has made him the best base I've ever made for a map. And that is, I've taken him off the map he was specifically built for. So, yeah. Uh, it, this is just me looking back at something now and realizing it because i can no longer teleport with crush like i mean i got i could go i'm definitely going back to extinction and getting me a remote a spyglass a new shotgun as well a tech bow and all that but yeah just like in hindsight looking back at that moving crush over to genesis part 2 was not the smartest idea but it is one i am 100 percent sticking with because, again, he is still a completely usable base, alright? For what I am going to be use, you, needing him for this time around, it's the exact same as Genesis Part 1, where he's legit just needed for me to have a safe place to respawn, a place to live, and a place to breed the dinos. He's legit just a mobile place to... He's just a fort, alright? Fort Crush. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. I'm just, I think what I'm trying to say is that Crush, I'm sorry, but yeah, you're not as good as you you once were on this map. You were the perfect, perfect base back on Genesis Part 1. But on 2, I'm sorry, I. it was probably a mistake to bring you over, but yeah, I'm glad you're here, though. I'm glad I have Crush with us. Alright, that means I've brought in all the Genesis creatures with me that have survived. Uh, rest in peace, Gizmo. Rest in peace.